look at the military in this country today. You know, when you say that you know, we should not, uh, you know, if Jane went too far, you know, standing on a tank and, and promoting the people who were fighting and killing U.S. soldiers, well, my sense is that one of the things that's happened since September 11 and in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan is that we have become too afraid to be critical of our military, to recognize that there have been some things done overseas in our names that we should be speaking out against. And I think that there has been some cowing of the American public where, you know, the comments like, uh, you know, Ashcroft's, when applied to our soldiers, people say, we cannot say anything that is critical of the soldiers. And that's a problem. And whether it's the soldiers or whether it is some of the contractors or whether it's the CIA people, uh, you know, we saw the photographs from Abu Ghraib. I've seen you know, firsthand with my clients the results of some of the torture that took place <coughs> in Afghanistan, uh, in the US military bases, in Guantanamo. And I think that part of dissent, part of the patriotic dissent, is the willingness to point out that our military can do wrong and it does need to be reined in. Now that doesn't say, let's go rah-rah for the Taliban. That's different, maybe that's what Jane was doing. But I think that in terms of the, uh, you know, perhaps the feeling that came out of the Vietnam War, and the protests, and we weren't kind enough to the soldiers coming back, and the people were not welcomed home, and we didn't respect what they were doing in our names. Uh, we may have gone a little too far the other way. Perhaps, I think, 